absconding for 55 days. TMC strongman finally arrested. Sheikh Shah Jahan walks into court with impunity. TMC pats its own back. BJP calls arrest and I watch. Sandesh Khali showdown escalates. 56 days is how long it has taken viewer and we'll get into the details of it and also a truly shocking video of the actual production of Sheikh Shah Jahan in court after he was arrested in Bengal. I'm Shiv, this is 5 Live. Let's get you straight to the headlines first. BJP slams Bengal police for VVIP treatment to Trinamool Neta Shah Jahan Sheikh. Trinamool suspends Shah Jahan for six years, challenges BJP to suspend their own tainted Netas like Bridge Bhushan. Sukhu government in Himachal Pradesh, back from the brink, Congress quells dissent, says Sukhu will remain chief minister. All six rebel MLAs who cross-voted for the BJP have been disqualified. Big India Today impact after tunnel rescue hero's house was demolished in Delhi. Lieutenant Governor vows compensation assures new house will be given to the rat hole minor hero. Big buzz over Rahul Gandhi's 2024 contest. Sources say Rahul Gandhi may fight from Telangana and give up his Wayanad seat. No confirmation yet. Rahul Gandhi is currently in the United Kingdom. The Ambani's Shadi of the Year kicks off with a three-day Jamnagar Jamboree. Celebrations begin with Anna Seva. Top celebrities and business honchos fly in for the big gala. Viewer Sheikh Shah Jaha, the man accused of untold horrors in Bengal's Shandesh Khali, is finally in police custody. But if you think this man accused of all of those horrible things in Sandesh Khali is in any real trouble, first impressions do not inspire a lot of confidence. For starters, this is how he was produced in court today. With an arrogant swagger, Sheikh Shah Jaha strode into court with hapless, servile, bumbling West Bengal police personnel tailing him like hesitant, deferential bodyguards rather than his proud captors. To me, viewer, this image of Sheikh Shah Jahan marching into court is perhaps the first dose of honesty we've seen from the Trinamool Congress since the beginning of the Sandesh Khali saga. Despite the hundreds of cameras lined up to capture this moment, Sheikh Shah Jahan lords over those nervous policemen, radiating an almost mafia-style contempt for authority. This man doesn't answer to lowly organs like the state police, clearly. Because nearly everything else leading up to this moment has been dishonesty, diversion and devilry. You've seen me twice call out how Mamta Banerjee's carefully constructed Mahila Shakti House of Cards has completely collapsed in the dust of her government's total hypocrisy over Sandesh Khali. There's nothing left to call out now, really, viewer. But that doesn't mean that weeks of lies, dishonesty, cover-ups, falsehoods and brazen doublespeak hasn't left Mamta's government with energy for some unashamed audacity. For instance, the Trinamool has today projected the arrest of Sheikh Shah Jahan as a tough move by the Mamata Sarkar that it has acted swiftly once its hands were untied by the court, something that has turned out not to be true. Hapless Trinamool leaders forced to peddle this ludicrous narrative must be laughing to themselves. One of them even referenced this very popular segment of mine that you're watching, confirming to me that my coverage of Sandesh Khali has gotten under their skin and rightfully so. Because a party that pretends to be fueled by woman power and feminism has been damagingly exposed for how selective its fury is, especially when Trinamool henchmen like Sheikh Shah Jahan are involved. 
To hell with woman power and women's safety if it means the embarrassment of having to call out one of your own. After weeks of unsparing interrogation, the Trinamool was right today to launch a counter-attack on the BJP, which has made a big political meal of the entire Sandesh Kali episode. As, if, as you've seen in my past takes right here on this show, the BJP and the Congress have no face to really show when it comes to action against alleged predators within their ranks. I've named and shamed those parties and their members without fear here because I don't take sides. I can call out any party. But with this unapologetic whataboutery, has the Trinamool inadvertently shown honesty by basically admitting that for all its marketing as a women-centric party with a no-nonsense toughness on such issues, it is ultimately just as bad as the BJP and the Congress. If that is what the Trinamool is admitting today, viewer, then I commend them because this is total honesty. They are just as bad as those they point their fingers at. At least they know that they are no different to the BJP and the Congress when it comes to action against their own on women's safety standards. And therefore, nobody should hold the Trinamool Congress to a higher standard when it comes to women's safety. So thank you to the Trinamool for reminding us of that. Well, clearly unnerved by the intensity of the glare on its hypocrisy and inaction, the Trinamool Congress has suspended Sheikh Shah Jahan today from the party for a period of six years while correctly questioning the lack of any similar hard action by the BJP. The puerile game of political whataboutry that is persistently played by our parties, the Trinamool, the BJP, the Congress will continue. And shouldn't be a concern in an atmosphere where, let's face it, the quality of conversation has been in a steady free fall. The reality of what remains is what should disturb us all, viewer. That even the fiercest of feminism, the most hard-nosed of ideologies, the most committed of activism when it comes to Mahila Shakti, are reduced to mere transactional currency when the conditions demand them to be. That is the fearful reality. When those who profess to be the greatest custodians of woman power and women's safety bend so easily, the world will never be rid of Sheikh Shah Jahan's or Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh's or Mewa Ram Jain's or the many litany of other political leaders who've been accused of crimes against women. Thank you for listening. The big story of the day, of course, is that 56 days after he went into, well, what, we, what they want you to think is hiding, Sheikh Shah Jahan has finally been arrested after being on the run for nearly two months. And soon after his arrest, the Trinamool suspended him for a period of six years. If he did nothing wrong, why suspend him for six years? That has not been answered by the Trinamool. Well, in a big admission... Shah Jahan has confessed to inciting a mob that attacked the Enforcement Directorate team in Bengal, fearing his arrest. Remember, Shah Jahan and his men are not only accused of sexual atrocities on women, but also land-grabbing in Shandesh Khali. Take a look. Walking confidently into the courtroom, Sheikh Shah Jahan finally apprehended. The strong man of Sandesh Kali, apprehended from his hideout in North 24 Parganas. At the heart of large scale protest and a political standoff between the ruling TMC and the opposition BJP in West Bengal, Sheikh Shah Jahan has been evading capture since January 5th, when his supporters assaulted ED investigators during a raid on his properties in Sandesh Kali. Linked to an alleged Russian scam, his demina upon arrest elicited strong political reactions. The BGP criticized his arrest a day before Prime Minister Narendra Modi's West Bengal visit as a mere facade. Why did he arrest him in the night? He arrested him in the day when he had a summon to the ED. He had a summon to the ED. और रात में ही कोर्ट में कब पेश किया गया बोला गया हमें तो कुछ पता ही नहीं चला मीडिया को भी कुछ पता नहीं चला आज सुबह से सब सबको पता चला ये जो स्थिति बना के रखा हुआ है पूरी तरीके से जब लग रहा है कि ममता बनर्जी कोशिश कर रही है कि शेख शाहजान का बाल भी वाका ना हो और छोटी छोटी धाराएं देकर जितना संभव हो लाइट 
जिसे बोलते हैं लाइट सेक्शन लगाकर इसको निकाल के ला पाए द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट रिफ्यूजेड द एलिगेशंस क्वेश्चनिंग व्हाई द ईडी हैड एन एक्टेड सूनो बंगाल पुलिस को वो एंपावर्ड uh, नहीं थे कि आप जाके अरेस्ट कीजिए पूरी ईडी क्यों नहीं अरेस्ट की सवाल तो अब अब हम लोग करेंगे कि ईडी ने क्यों नहीं अरेस्ट किया आपके हाथ में था अरेस्ट के बाद अगर आप सवाल करें कि आप तीन दिन में दो दिन में कैसे पकड़ लिए अब आप नहीं पकड़े तो भी आप सवाल करेंगे और पकड़ते हैं तो आप उनकी कॉन्फिडेंस पे शक करते हैं द कोर्ट रिमांडेड शेख शाहजहां टू टेन डेज इन पुलिस कस्टडी आफ्टर ऑपोजिशन फ्रॉम द पुलिस रिगार्डिंग हिस्स बे साइटिंग हिस्स एडमिशन of involvement in the assault on ED officials on January 5th women in sandesh kali rejoiced at sheikh shahjahan's arrest the tmc leader faces serious allegations of land grabbing and sexual exploitation in the village local women however expressed concerns of potential retaliation from shahjahan and his supporters ग्रेफ्तार चार्जेस अगेंस्ट Uh, Sheikh, Sheikh Shah Jahan go beyond atrocities against women and the people of Sandesh Kali in fact at India today investigation now has uncovered something far far bigger than that India today has now accessed satellite imagery that confirms what locals have been alleging for years against Trinamool neta Shah Jahan Sheikh about land grab for fish farms the on mass conversion of agricultural land for commercial purposes and fish farms stands exposed in satellite imagery the sandesh kali agricultural land that has been converted into ponds seen here in these satellite images taken over years hundreds of acres of agricultural land converted into ponds in sandesh kali of west bengal beginning over a decade ago in 2013 this is depicted in satellite data analyzed by india today's open source intelligence team these are the before and after images remember that land grab for commercial purposes is one of the big allegations that's been made against shah jahan sheik it is what he was supposed to have been under investigation for but he clearly had an absolutely free run because of the jungle raj allegedly perpetrated by him in sandesh kali let's go straight across to india today is shreya chatterji who broke this story she's been on the ground in sandesh kali reporting as well shreya uh, you know sheikh shah jahan 55 days later he's been arrested you know the law will take its course hopefully at this point of time even though it hasn't so far but the images that you've brought out now talk about the very serious issue of land grab just explain these images to our viewers shreya well shiv you know these satellite images are from those locations which the uh, people of sandesh khali had uh, told us were taken away from them forcefully by sheikh shah jahan and his men his men to the name of uttam shardar to the name of uh, 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 binoy shardar these were allegedly the people who were the men of uh, sheikh shah jahan and 
they were the ones who used to allegedly uh, grab lands from these people, the locals of Sandesh Kali. These are in Sandesh Kali 1, Sandesh Kali 2. And initially when this was happening, they were said that if you give us the land, we will uh, give you a lease money. If you just understand the amount, they were promised only 5,000 rupees yes. per bigha every year is what these people allege. Even that money wasn't paid to them. They were only paid in saline water. Their uh, paddy cultivated areas were allegedly filled uh, with uh, saline water if they protested land grabbing. And that's how we have also pinpointed on the satellite image now that the claims of the people of Sandesh Kali is now proven with data that the satellite image shows that hundreds of acres of land have been converted to fish farms. We also know there are other commercial properties that Sheikh Shah Jahan allegedly owns that we've visited uh, ourselves with yes. our brick kilns and markets as well. So this is something that we have now put it on record uh, also uh, through these satellite images. Uh, you know, switching from the satellite images to the rest of the charges against uh, against uh, Sheikh Shah Jahan uh, uh, Shreya, uh, he's been suspended from the Trinamool Congress for a period of six years. He was produced in court today. What happens to the allegations of the women of Sandesh Kali against him? Uh, well, you know, Shiv, it's important to point out that it's only today that the TMC has actually woken up to yes. suspend uh, Sheikh Shah Jahan for six years now. The initial FIR that the TMC had filed, the ED had uh, actually directed that there were uh, charges that were diluted. Charges like section of attempt to murder was not initially a part of the FIR. Post the uh, Calcutta High Court's directive, those charges were added, which was initially uh, part of the complaint of the ED that was submitted to the police station. From now, we've asked the police that why was ED not arrested in the other charges that includes the allegations of the multiple women who've come out in the uh, place of Sandesh Kali. The ADG South to us told that these charges date back to the time of two years to three years is why we need time to investigate. That is the reason he has been arrested for now in the case pertaining to the Enforcement Directorate. Okay, Shreya Chatterjee, thanks very much for reporting on this uh, fast developing story. It's a big day, the arrest of Sheikh Jaha, Shah Jaha. 55 days after he went into hiding. Most people believe that this hiding was state-sponsored, but that, of course, remains in the realm of speculation and allegation. How is it possible that for 55 days the West Bengal police, the state intelligence agencies, had no idea where this man was? And Trinamool has been left bumbling and making excuses about having its hands tied and not taking any action it has totally, totally been exposed. And as Shreya said, it took 55 days for the Trinamool to finally wake up and take action. Arrest and suspension, all this within 24 hours by the Bengal police under Mamata's party. Sheikh Shah Jahan's arrest has triggered a big political storm with the Trinamool patting its own back, imagine, and the BJP dubbing it as mere eyewash. Take a look. Cornered Mamata Banerjee government arresting Sandesh Kali's strongman Sheikh Shah Jahan. Accused of Russian scam, land loot, sexual harassment and assault on EDT. 55 days after he went missing after his supporters launched a murderous attack on ED team out to probe him. As his arrest was celebrated by local Sandesh Kali women, long subject to Shah Jahan's atrocity. The BGP went into a massive offensive, terming the arrest an eyewash and bid to destroy evidence against the now axed TMC Neta. Jitna time took Central Investigating Agency ka pass, a chota daus nahi ja raha hai. Jitna time took justice milne wala nahi. Ye jo sthiti bana ke rakha hua hai, puri tarike se jab lag raha hai ki Mamta Banerjee koshish kar rahi hai ki Sheikh Shah Jahan ka bal bhi vaka na ho. और छोटी-छोटी धाराएं देकर जितना संभव हो लाइट जिसे बोलते हैं लाइट सेक्शन लगाकर इसको निकाल के ला पाए द बीजेपी हैज प्लान्ड अ मैसिव ऑफेंसिव टाइम विद प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदीस अराइवल इन बंगाल ऑन फ्राइडे डायरेक्टली टारगेटिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर ममता फॉर शील्डिंग द अक्यूज्ड नेता उतना बड़ा अत्याचारी बलात्कारी महिलाओं के साथ उत्पीड़न करने वाला उसको ममता बनर्जी बचा के रखे इसलिए कि वो मुसलमान था मुसलमानों का वोट इनको चाहिए ये देश का दुर्भाग्य है महिला के नाम पर कलंक है 
The TMC on its part hailed Momata for upholding Raj Dharma and shifted blame to ED, asking why it failed to arrest Shah Jahan. The TMC also challenged BJP to arrest its own tainted netas. Mr. Modi, we dare you to suspend Narayan Rane. We dare you to suspend Himanto Biswa Sharma. And we dare you to suspend Shubendu Adhikari. Now the question is that when the ED was in the shamta, why didn't they arrest him? Why didn't they arrest him? The explosive political face-off over Sandesh Khali's villain is only going to escalate ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. With Hrithik Mondol, Surya Agni and Shreya Chatterjee in Sandesh Khali and Indrajit Kundu in Kolkata, Bureau Report, India Today. And straight to the big unfolding Game of Thrones in Himachal Pradesh. The Congress's Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu is to remain the Himachal Chief Minister amidst all the turbulence that has hit the hill state. The Congress has put up a joint show of strength and appears to have averted the Himachal Pradesh crisis for now. The Congress says it has managed to quell dissent in Himachal. Sukhvinder Sukhu will be staying Chief Minister for now. Former Chief Minister Jairam Thakur is live with my colleague Piyush in Shimla right now. Over to you, Piyush. Well, Shiv, remember that a couple of minutes back, a press conference was done by the top leadership of Congress party observers who were sent by the Congress leaders uh, are in uh, Shimla. They met with all the factions of, uh, of uh, uh, the, the Congress party and finally they have decided to form a committee which will look into this. Uh, uh, Jaram Thakur uh, is the one who has been raising this issue since beginning. In fact, he has been claiming that uh, there are uh, many MLAs of Congress party who are in touch with uh, BJP. Remember that uh, 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 Harsh Mahajan had also uh, said that uh, there are at least 15 to 16 MLAs of, uh, of, of Congress party who are still in touch uh, with uh, BJP. Jaram Thakur is with us. He's talking to some other channel. We'll try to get in a word from him and understand uh, what the, uh, how, how the BJP is now going to look into it. Uh, remember that um, uh, in the press conference today, it has been made very clear that uh, uh, Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu will continue to be the Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh. In that press conference, uh, uh, all the leaders were present. Pradeepa Singh, Vikram Aditya Singh, all were there now. Jaram Thakur is with us. Let me try to get in a word from him. सर आज प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में ये बात साफ कर दी है कांग्रेस पार्टी ने कि सुखविंदर सिंह सुखू ही मुख्यमंत्री बने रहेंगे प्रदेश के आप ये कह रहे थे कि उनको खुद ही हट जाना चाहिए इससे पहले कि कांग्रेस पार्टी उनको हटाए अब जो स्थिति बनी उसको अब उसको आप किस तरह से देखिए मुझे मालूम नहीं है ये कांग्रेस पार्टी का अंदर का निर्णय है उन, उनकी पार्टी का निर्णय उस पर आपको कुछ कहने की आवश्यकता नहीं है लेकिन ये हालात किसके नेतृत्व में हिमाचल प्रदेश में ऐसे बने किसके कारण बने किस वजह से बने और कांग्रेस पार्टी की प्रदेश की अध्यक्षा ने कहा कि हम कई महीनों से कई सालों से जलील हो रहे हैं अध्यक्षा ही बोल रही है तो आप कल्पना कर सकते हैं उनका बेटा मंत्री है वो मंत्री बोलते हैं कि जलालत का दौर खत्म ही नहीं हो रहा है बार बार जलालत हो रही है हमारी और उसके बावजूद हमसे कहा पूछा जा रहा है हमसे इस सारे जो है उसके लिए हमको दोषी ठहराने की आवश्यकता नहीं है दोषी है तो वो है और आखिरकार उनके विधायक अगर नाराज हो क्योंकि उनसे दूर गए हैं कोई तो बजा होगी और सरकार बची रहेगी आपको लगता है पांच साल पूरी करेगी अपने न, मुझे तो सिर्फ इतना कहना है मुझे हालात नहीं लगते हैं अभी हालात जिस प्रकार के बने हैं और हम नहीं गिरा रहे हैं और वो गिरेगी तो अपने अपने ही दम से वो गिर जाएगी अपने ही हालात में गिर जाएगी एक सवाल बहुत महत्वपूर्ण हमने एक बागी विधायक रवि ठाकुर उनसे बात की वो ये कह रहे हैं कि उनको परेशान किया जा रहा है और उन्होंने अपने अंतरात्मा की बात सुनकर हर्ष महाजन को वोट दिया था इस पर आप क्या कहेंगे देखो उनको ये अधिकार है ये हमको लोकतांत्रिक व्यवस्था के अनुरूप जो एक अधिकार है अपने मत का इस्तेमाल करना और उन्होंने अपना मतदान भारतीय जनता पार्टी के कैंडिडेट के लिए किया है और मुझे नहीं लगता कि उसको बुरा मानना चाहिए था उनको इस प्रकार से और यहाँ तक कि उनको जिस प्रकार से उनके परिवार को परेशान किया जा रहे हैं उनके घर का रास्ता बंद कर दिया और एक और दूसरे विधायक हैं जिनका व्यवसाय बंद कर दिया एक दिन में ही ये हालात बन गए मुझे लगता कि ये बहुत नीचता का काम कर रहे हैं और ऐसी चीज़ों का करना जो है किसी के हित में नहीं होता है उससे बुरा होता है कांग्रेस को और भी विधायक नाराज़ हैं आपको ऐसा लगता है मुझे तो लगता है बहुत सारे नाराज हैं 
कांग्रेस पार्टी के लोग त्याग पत्र दे रहे हैं कांग्रेस पार्टी का पूरे देश में ये हाल है तो निश्चित रूप से हिमाचल प्रदेश में भी ऐसे हालात है सो जयराम ठाकुर फॉर्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश स्पोक टू इंडिया टुडे ही हैज मेंशनड शिव दैट देयर आर मेनी अदर एमएलएज ऑफ कांग्रेस पार्टी हु आर स्टिल डिसग्रेंटल विद द पार्टी इन फैक्ट ही इज आल्सो सेइंग दैट नाउ द गांधी कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट सुखु गवर्नमेंट इज डेलिबरेटली टेकिंग अ फ्यू एक्शंस अगेंस्ट द रिबेल एमएलएज वी आल्सो गॉट टू नो दैट देयर आर सम रिबेल एमएलएज अगेंस्ट हुम फ्यू एक्शंस आर बीइंग टेकन बाय द कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट बट ऑन द अदर साइड फॉर्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर जयराम ठाकुर इज मेंटेनिंग that very soon the congress government will fall in the state of himachal pradesh okay pure sure. thanks very much for getting us that uh, big live update in fact dk shivakumar who had been dashed to shimla as a troubleshooter and observer has also spoken just a moment ago uh, uh, you know basically confirming that uh, sukhvinder singh sukhu will stay as the chief minister at this point of time and perhaps for the immediate moment the upheaval within the congress party and the sukhvinder singh sukhu government in shimla things have been tidied over here's dk shiv kumar here's what he said all mls want five years congress government all are united the high command has chosen uh, mr shiku which has been proposed by the pcc president and breaking news coming in now big big setback to rapist murderer gurmeet ram rahim of the dera sacha sauda who's been enjoying hundreds of days of parole ever since he was convicted of rape and murder years ago the punjab and haryana high court has ordered that ram rahim this rapist murderer should not be given parole without the court's permission remember the haryana government and prison system have been complicit in giving this rapist murderer so called godman hundreds of days of parole in separate tranches for years since his conviction the court also asked how many more people have been granted parole in this manner so far gurmeet ram rahim last got 50 days parole if you total the amount of parole that he's got it is well over uh, well over 200 days at last count if i'm not mistaken but he's been given parole continuously multiple occasions since 2019 2020 and it has become an absolute mockery since this man is serving a life sentence for rape and murder